guys and welcome back for another video. So I'm here with another baby related video. If you are enjoying these videos then definitely give this video a thumbs up and you can also check out my other baby related videos. Um, so I'm here today just to show you these little stations I've made for doing things related to the baby around the house. I just made these portable stations so that wherever I am in the house I can easily just pick this up and go where the baby is and do what I need to do. So I have three stations here. One is a nappy changing station, one is a breastfeeding station, and then I also have one for the toilet and um, pads station. They're nice and light, nice and small. Everything is in here that I need for that task. So I don't have to be getting up every five minutes or anything to get something else. I don't have to be calling my husband. So I'm just gonna start with this one because it's the closest to me. This is a toilet station and it has things that you probably need in the toilet. So um, the first thing that I have in my hand here is a witch hazel mixture. If you check out my particle video, I show you guys how I make this and what I use it for. But because I had quite a bit left over, I thought I'd pull it in with the toilet um, station because it's great for relief really for your perineum after you just had a baby. In this station I also have some spare knickers because um, since you do bleed quite a lot for the first few weeks and it's quite heavy you can have a few leaks so I thought I'll have a few spare knickers. Also have in here maxi pads and these are the humongous pads probably the biggest you can get for the heavy flow just after you give birth and then I also have other pads in here because you're not just going to be heavy for the weeks that you do bleed your bleeding will maybe get lighter get heavier so it does vary so i decided that i'll also have different type of pads these are just normal overnight pads so they're not as thick as the maxi pads and then i also have these normal day pads here as well and then when it's really really light i also have some panty liners as well so that I am prepared for any flow that I do experience everything is in here I also have some nursing pads so breast pads if I am leaking if I'm changing my pad and I realize that my nipples are also leaking and it's going through my top then I could also change my um, breast pad so the next thing I have in here are these multi gyne or multi gin whatever you want to call it compresses so they just provide relief in the region down there one thing i don't have in here that i think will be quite useful is a stool softener so those first few days after giving birth it's going to be quite sore irritated itchy down there so a stool softener will just help to allow you to pass your poo easily another thing that i don't have in here that i would really really like but i've been trying to look everywhere and they just seem really expensive and we don't get them free here in the uk is a peri bottle and that will be great for when you're going to toilet you can just fill it up with water and squeeze it on your um vagina perineum whatever <laughs> when you're peeing so that the pee doesn't sting your vagina so much because obviously there might be a few stitches scratches open wounds that will sting quite a bit when the pee passes on them so that is all in the toilet station so i'll probably just put this on top of the toilet or something like that so it's easily accessible when i go to toilet and i change my pad and stuff like that so moving on to the next organizer i have this is the breastfeeding organizer so in here i have everything that i'll probably need whilst i'm breastfeeding so i have some breast pads so when i'm leaking or anything like that once i've finished breastfeeding i'll probably take out the old breast pad and i'll put in a new one i have some nipple cream because of course I'm going to be needing quite a lot of nipple cream, especially in the first few weeks when my nipples are getting used to breastfeeding. So I have this Love Boo Magic Balm nipple cream. I have been using it now. I've been using it for quite a while now just to prepare my nipples and to prepare the skin. I have a variety of snacks because you can get quite hungry while you're breastfeeding and also if I've been sitting there for 20 minutes and I just need to nibble something then I have these just to keep me going until I can get up and have something proper to eat. I also have a bottle of water because again you can get quite thirsty while breastfeeding. And then lastly what I have in here is some muslin squares because obviously sometimes the baby can throw up, it can make a mess. Um, breastfeeding can be quite a messy job with the baby so add some muslin squares just to tidy up all that mess i also have which isn't going to fit in here is my boppy pillow so this is just a nursing pillow 
to give some extra support while I am nursing the baby. That is optional, you can just use a normal pillow if you wish, but I decided that I would get a boppy pillow. One thing that I don't have in here yet, because I just ordered it yesterday, so it is on its way, is the multi-man compresses. They're similar to the compresses that I showed you in the toilet station, but they're for your nipples. So they just provide relief to sore nipples. I will definitely make sure that before I sit down to breastfeed that I have majority of the things that I will need. So if I see the baby needs a feed, I'll prepare the area where I'm going to be feeding the baby. I'll get my boppy pillow, I'll make sure my breastfeeding organiser is within arm's reach and then I will sit down and breastfeed the baby. Um, you could also put maybe a book in this station. My little organiser isn't that big, but I do have a book here that I'm currently reading which you can put in here or your iPad or your phone or pen and paper so you can monitor your feed. But I'm going to try and stay away from that because I want the feeding process to be um, a time of day where I can actually bond with the baby and get to know the baby and just give them that one-to-one -one attention instead of reading something or watching something else. So the last station that I have put together is a nappy changing station. Now this doesn't have any spare clothes or swaddles or blankets or anything like that. It's just the necessities for changing the baby because we do have an organiser downstairs with several drawers that we will store um, spare clothes, spare swaddles, toys, um, more nappy changing things and breastfeeding things and stuff like that so this is just for changing the baby's nappy if I'm somewhere else in the house so of course for changing the baby's nappy we're gonna need some nappies <laughs> I also have some nappy bags and these are biodegradable nappy bags which is quite cool so I have a roll of this in here for the dirty nappy I also have a muslin square so that wherever I am in the house, I can just lay this down and change the baby on this. A muslin square or even a dishcloth will be great to put wherever you're changing the baby because poop can get everywhere. No matter how tidy you try to be, poop is gonna get somewhere. So um, a piece of fabric just to put the baby on will be great. Um, of course, we have some baby wipes. This is just um, Mamiya baby wipes. I got this as a free sample love samples and then i also have a little sample size of pseudocreme another thing that you could probably put in here is a little toy so that when they're a bit older and they get distracted and they're rolling everywhere you can just give them a little toy to keep them occupied so these are all the stations that i've put together for different tasks that i'll have to carry out whilst having a newborn baby and i just thought it would be good to do since this is gonna be a completely new experience for me and I just wanted to make things a little bit easier for me, especially the first few days when I'm just getting used to everything. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you do like these stations and you're gonna try them out, definitely give this video a thumbs up. But that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys, stay sweet.